two pomegranates, uh, the, what we call uh, the sweet and the sour. The sweet, you can make a, like a fruit salad out of it, they're real good to eat, and they're sweet, and the others are more sour and tart. They make the jellies and the jams out of it. But the pioneers brought them in with them. I'm not sure where they came from. They, I don't think they're native here. I think they brought them in, and, uh, and they, they did well. I've never seen one die. <laughs> They can stand a lot of neglect and still produce nice pomegranates. You know, they're drought resistant. If you don't water them, they don't die. Uh, if you water them and take care of them, fertilize them, they, they will produce nice big ones. The plums, the apricots, the pears, the pomegranates do pretty good here. Everybody has a few pomegranates. Most everybody has a few pomegranates. And like Jim's got about 10 or 15 out there. I've got a few, that gives us all the juice we need for, for jelly. And a lot of the sweet ones that, that would make a good, what we call pomegranate salad with bananas and apples and pomegranates and whipped cream. You have people that come and want to buy them, they don't want to give you anything for them. They want a sack, I just get a sack full. Yeah. Well, there's people that just stop and help themselves to pick up the pomegranates. Well, they want to get a, just a, a sack full of them off the, uh, the pomegranate tree, whatever. They'll, yeah, they, they wanted to get some. <laughs> I'm Jo Tame. I'm a former president of the Moapa Valley Art Guild. It's quite an honor to do this in our little valley. We have many, many people that come from all over uh, Las Vegas and St. George, Utah. This is our 21st year of the Pomegranate Festival. And we have become so big that now we are doing it at the Clark County Fairgrounds. We used to do this in our yard, actually. We have um, people in the valley that created and built pomegranate juicers. And we used to go out in the orchards of uh, private citizens here and pick the pomegranates. It takes a lot of effort to uh, to get an orchard like this. I know I've tried it myself, uh, and I've got a few bushes around, but uh, uh, this is uh, what a pomegranate orchard should look like. So, This is a pretty good example of a pomegranate. Uh, the little ears that are on here will usually lay over and stick straight out when they're really ripe. They also will start getting angular. They grow all year, and we harvest them in around October. November. We've always had them in Southern Nevada. It was always a treat. Sometimes they'd give them to you for Halloween, you know, instead of candy or something. Well, this is a family project. Uh, we, we have all of the grandkids are involved. They pick pomegranates and uh, when we squeeze them here, they all get involved. This squeezer uh, will take about eight five gallon buckets of pomegranates before the holes need to be cleaned out. We started with a juicer that did two pomegranates. We did about 70 gallons with that thing, so we've, we've moved up a little bit. We juice pomegranates for a, a lot of people in the area. It makes it easy on them to get juice. We'll keep half the juice and give them half. We've found that uh, there's farms that have tried to do that themselves and they get uh, just as much juice having me do it. So it's a good thing for the community, I think. Uh, when they're ripe and in good shape, uh, we get about a gallon of pomegranate juice for a five gallon bucket of pomegranates. Well, Bam Jam, is it's got some uh, sweet peppers in it. Another real popular one is uh, alligator jelly. It has jalapenos. It's probably our most popular uh, jelly. We made 100 cases here the other day for the Pomegranate Festival. We are now um, putting our pomegranate jelly together. And this is a process that we do every year before the Pomegranate Festival. We have quite a crew here working today. We've got about 15 people. Without these volunteers, we could not put on a pomegranate festival. I am adding six cups of juice, one cup of chipotle, one fourth cup of lemon juice. Okay, what we're doing here is counting out the sugar. We put eight cups to a batch. What I'm doing now is stirring in the pectin, and that will come to a boil. It takes about usually five minutes, then we add the sugar. Well, this is a skimming station, and when it's cooked, it comes here to cool. 
and then I sweep off the skim and get rid of it so it's nice and clear for putting in the jars. So what we have here are 75 cases. We put those jars into these <laughs> roaster ovens and we boil them until they're ready and, and they'll be sterile and so we transfer them to the table. And then we start to pour it into the bottles and we get it up to the top of the bottle as far as we can. And then we put the lids on that have been sterilized. And then of course we put the ring on and then we take it over to the other table where they put the label on and then we wait for them to pop which is the good sign and then they're ready for the festival. The guild was founded it was about 54 years ago by Max Vinell who was a teacher in the valley. We promote the art in, in the area we have a children's program in the summer, we have an art show in the spring, and then we have the Pomegranate Festival. The Pomegranate Festival funds the art and our scholarship program. Hi, my name is Candy Evans, and I'm from Logandale, Nevada. This is a family business. My parents actually own and operate and have all of the trees themselves. They have about 250 trees. And then when it comes to Pomegranate Festival time, then it's a family project. The only three ingredients in each of the jellies or the syrup is just juice, sugar, and pectin. And it's just the way that it's cooked. My name is Carrie Beckstrand and I live here in Overton, Nevada. We've lived here about 14 years and we started probably 12 years ago with the Pomegranate Festival. We have a small orchard of 27 and a quarter trees. <laughs> yes, we got a baby. <laughs> We're a, a co-op, a number of us together. and. So we get the permit together, and then we take turns cooking. You can actually drive down the main highway and see Lots just pomegranate trees. And we have 28 next to our house, so we had to figure out something to do with them. My name is Zona Tobler. I come up with the idea of uh, having a pomegranate art festival. I'd just gotten back from the sawdust art festival, and there's the onion and the orange, and I thought, Pomegranates are beautiful. Why don't we use those? So we started it. That was in 1995, I think. 